Living on campus can be great. There's great proximity to other students, classes, activities, but there are some other things to consider. So we talked to some students, RAs, and housing specialists about what it's like to live on campus. Living on campus puts you really close to all the action. You're close to food, close to friends, close to classes. You're in the middle of everything. I really took advantage of um, some of the great places to eat on campus, um, some of the late night resources like the libraries, the study centers that we have here. There's a lot of great reasons to live on campus, whether it's the location and convenience or the number of people you're going to meet from all over the world. One of the great things about living with other people is it gives you a unique opportunity to expand your horizons. I chose to live on campus because I thought it was a great opportunity to build my own community. So there's lots of different choices of places to live when you're living on campus. Room types vary, so you may have a sort of traditional residence hall room and that could be a double, and it could be a double with a bathroom down the hallway, or it could be a double with a private bath. Sometimes you might have triples or even designed quads, and that's where you have three or four roommates in a given room. Living independently, a uh, struggle I faced that I didn't anticipate was doing my own laundry. Uh, it was more difficult than I thought it would be, but you get used to it, everybody else gets used to it, and learns how to do it together, I guess. One of the biggest transitions I had to go through um, was probably living with someone. One of the most important and unique resources that living on campus provides you is access to a student staff member called an RA or a CA, depending upon the campus that you land on. They can act as a guide, a resource, or a problem solver for you and help you through your first year on campus. My role as a resident advisor is to help personalize the college experience for all the students. I ultimately um, serve as a resource to students. One of my jobs is to help create connections amongst the people living in the building. So I can help you find people in your classes or just with similar interests as you. Housing applications also have a lot of personal information that they ask you to give. And these might be questions about your habits. So are you an early morning person? Do you stay up late? Do you need it to be quiet all the time when you study? Do you smoke? And these are the kinds of questions that sometimes your, your parents might want to get involved and answer, but it's really important, particularly on some of these lifestyle pieces, that you're being honest and that you're answering those questions yourself. A few of the things that might be on a housing application may be questions about where you want to live, and that might be a building, a building type, or it might also be about a living learning community. So some schools will have partnerships with different colleges like business or engineering or honors, and those might be places that you would particularly want to request living in. I'm particularly an RA for the engineering theme communities, which um, the last event I had was Lego of my Egos. So we had all these engineers come and they were playing with Legos and we also served Ego waffles. There's going to be other information in those housing agreements as well. And those are going to pertain to the kinds of rules that you agree to follow when you decide to live on campus. And those might be rules about noise, might be rules about alcohol, and in some institutions it might even be rules about can you or can't you have guests. So in each individual case, make sure that you're paying attention to and reading the housing agreement and realize that it's about a lot more than when you can move in and when you need to move out. My first year before I moved in, uh, once I found out who my roommate was, I emailed him and then we started talking through email and then we added each other on Facebook, which was a really nice way to get to know each other before we moved in. To prepare for move-in day, it's a good idea to contact your roommate in advance and read and reread the directions you received about coming to campus. Move-in day can be a bit hectic. You'll want to be patient. You'll want to keep a positive attitude. Sometimes in college, you're going to get a little bit homesick. And while it's important to maintain those connections you have with friends and family back at home, it's also really great to build a new community here and make a lot of friends here, which gives you that home away from home feeling you can get in the residence halls. On campus life can be great. Just be sure to understand the rules of where you live. Your RA is a great resource if you have any questions.